Hi, I'm Jack, and this is episode 7 of Turning On The Harbor. So today is Friday, December 16th, and I'm at my new Sacramento Digital Theater for the 905 showing of Rogue One. Super stoked to go see this movie. Got my friend Nick coming here in a quick second, coming from San Francisco right now. He's that devoted to it. And uh, got the medium popcorn and the small drink and we're ready to go. Very excited for Rogue One. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the other side. Two hours later. All right, so I just got back from Rogue One. Yeah, I wanted to record really quickly just to tell you my spoiler-free thoughts. So first of all, the music was amazing. It played with the themes of the regular Star Wars trilogy, but it also messed around with some of the notes to the point where it was recognizable, but it sounded a little bit different. It was really, really cool. Kind of how they created the music for the Clone Wars and for Rebels, how it sounds a little bit of the same, but there are different themes that are going throughout it, which was really cool. Another thing that was really, really fun was how they tied it all back together towards the end of the film. It just kind of lines itself right up for episode four. The character of Jen Erso was played perfectly and the way that she is portrayed is really cool in comparison to like Ray, because I know there were uh, some people who were feeling frustrated about all of these female lead characters, whereas with this, she was just kind of the hero and not the female hero, which I think is key because that's the most gender equality that you can get because instead of being a female hero, she's just the hero in general. Her, her gender did not affect her abilities, which was key. The new costumes for the stormtroopers were cool. There were all different kinds of stormtroopers. And like this movie was promoted early on, it was a war film, which was really cool. And the way that they portrayed the battles that were going on just the cinematography that was used was stellar and all of the CGI and graphics that they created for this movie were spectacular. Just the way that it looked was so aesthetically pleasing and was just so cutting edge as Lucasfilm always is. You got a couple of little Easter eggs in there which was fun, some of them visual. One of the main characters was actually a droid who was um, reprogrammed and he was kind of the comedic relief for the film which was really kind of fun. Uh, some of his quirks that he had were almost Jarvis-like. There's definitely the tie-in to the Avengers now and the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe as the Star Wars universe continues to expand and I'm really excited to see how the rest of these Star Wars stories are gonna go. So yeah, that's my spoiler-free review of Rogue One. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 churros and a fast pass because you need to go see this movie while it is still in theaters. I'm going to go see it again next week. Maybe then we'll do a little bit more of a spoiler review with some more people in a panel discussion. But until then, make sure to give us a like on this video if you enjoyed Rogue One and comment down below if you agree with some of the things that I said, or absolutely would love to hear what you thought of Rogue One. All right, we'll see you guys. Star Wars.